Now, do you... The suspect ignited people without laying a finger on them. Then it transformed into some kind of creature and ran off. Actually, floated off is more like it. Oozed off, somewhat. Since we mentioned mitochondria, we were hoping you could supply us with some info. Like a brochure. Or a plaque. Or a placard. Haha, <laughs> you two have complete, absolutely no idea what the true mitochondria is like. Um... Huh? Do you? <laughs> you see, this is this is the correct way. When someone accuses you, when someone starts asking you questions, this is what you do. You say that they know absolutely nothing about what they're asking about, and then you say, "Do you?" This is what you do. The mitochondria da, 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 possesses its own unique genetic code. Its own? Are you saying it's a separate organism? Precisely. Kind of like a parasite or something, huh? Parasite? That's an interesting way of describing this most fascinating creature. We cannot live without the quite a, it, it, Ah, god damn it! We cannot live without the mitochondria. Do you understand? Do you? The mitochondria creates energy for us. Without it, we are nothing. We are here because the mitochondria allows us to be here. Our brain, for example. See, yeah, see the. <laughs> they're like great. The brain functions through the interaction between axons and dendrites. This interaction is possible due to the energy the mitochondria provides. Did you know the mitochondria is capable of discharging 200,000 volts of electricity? Did you? This is not only pertains to electrical discharge, but also applies to heat energy as well. Heat? That the combustions from the last night were. Dot, 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 dot. Dot, dot, dot. For a human to burn and melt, 1600 degrees of heat must be generated. There are several hundred mitochondria present within a single cell. If all the mitochondria in the body began functioning at the same time, a tremendous amount of energy would be generated and released. Any of you who've been in a biology class are probably groaning right now, but, you know, just bear with it for now. Melting a human into a puddle of flu would be a simple task with so much energy. So you're saying that the mitochondria ignited these people? Professor, you may be right in, in that we need mitochondria to live, but in the end, we're just using them for energy, right? Haha, <laughs> you have no idea. Do you? The mitochondria has control over an organism's growth. Take this hand, for example. Before we're born, the hand is merely a glob of flesh. But when the cells between the fingers deteriorate, that's when the fingers first form. Huh? When the cells which make up the body aren't needed anymore, it receives a signal to die. This signal is initiated by the mitochondria. When it is relayed, the genetic information in the nucleus is cut off and in essence dies. In essence. The same can be said for aging. The mitochondria mutates ten times faster than cells. Of course, this also applies to mutant forms of mitochondria as well. Of course, this would be turned completely on its head in the sequel, but I digress. When too many mutant mitochondria multiply, energy production level decreases. The decrease in energy production is associated with the aging process. So, are you still stupid enough to say that we are the higher species? ARE YOU?! What the fu- Dude, they're having a fucking conniption! <laughs> but you're not saying the mitochondria is doing all this CONSCIOUSLY, right? ARE YOU?! When I said the mitochondria can mutate ten times faster than normal cells, I also meant that they could evolve at a rate ten times faster. Since the beginning of the creation, the mitochondria has been evolving at this rate. It's no surprise if they possess a power beyond our con cognition. No surprise at all. Da da da. Let me tell you something. Oh, well go ahead then. There was a scientist who tried to determine the mutation rate of the mitochondria. With this, the scientist wanted to establish a connection with human ancestry. In 1987, it was announced that the root of all humans can be traced to a single woman in Africa. This finding was announced around the world. And with this, the mitochondrial theory spread like wildfire. You know, what they call the root of it all? Mitochondria Eve. Splendid name. Just incredible. She was also a Cylon. Eve?! They suspect in yesterday's case called herself Eve. What? 
Hey, if you know anything, you better not be holding back on us. She called herself dot 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 Eve dot 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 question mark. Sorry, but I've told you what I know. I'd like to return to my studies now. I believe you know the way out. Hey! <laughs> Chill out, dude. Hey, you better explain what the hell is going on here. Yeah! Daniel, forget it. He's. Yeah, let's just go. God damn it! Hello. What the hell is wrong with that guy? I can't stand him! That's a pretty awesome camera view, though. I wonder how long this street is. Dot dot dot, dot dot dot. That man, dot dot dot. I've seen him, dot dot dot, before, but I can't, dot dot dot, remember where, dot. Oh, the radio's going off. It's Daniel. What? Okay, we'll be right there. Ah, oh, yeah. Looks like we got a break in the case. What? Do I get back to the station, Aya? Hang on. I'm kicking this into turbo. See, like, this is like shit's going down music. It's fucking awesome. And then the pace suddenly slowed. Whee!